Well, another story heavily discussed online today is the new Premier League season. The action kicks off again tomorrow. And after a summer of multi-million pound trans uh, takeover sagas, especially from Man City and its mega-rich owners, is this the season when the dominance of the big four could be threatened? Well, joining us in the studio to talk about that and the rest of the action, Marcus Speller and Luke Moore from the Foot Football Ramble, the highest rated independent sports podcast. That's quite an achievement. Well done. Thank you. <laughs> Good Thank evening. You very much. Is this a season to get excited about? Well, I'm, I'm not sure, actually, because, uh, I mean, it's always exciting the start of a new season, but a lot of uh, the Premiership's, um, well, some of the Premiership's best players have actually transferred away. I mean, Cristiano Ronaldo's gone, uh, uh, Xavi Alonso's gone as well to La Liga, and perhaps there's been a bit, maybe been a shift from the Premiership to the, to the La Liga from some of the best players there. So, so a lot of the fans thinking that maybe their best, their best, their star players have gone, and well, they they have. Yeah, I, I mean, so. a couple. Of, I mean, he's right. A couple of have gone, but I, I do think it's a, it's, a, it's a time to be excited because a lot of players have moved from big clubs to other big clubs in, in England. So you've got players who've gone from Arsenal to Manchester City, for example, which which is interesting. And, and mm. there's also very little to choose between the teams down the bottom as well. So I think it's exciting all round, definitely. What's getting fans talking then? Is it Man City and their? Yeah, their I think big, Man City definitely big spending. Been, absolutely, and I think. I think it's Arsenal. Just, I think Arsenal are getting people talking as well because they've sold. I mean, two of their, their big players to Man City as well. They're going to be rivals. This Absolutely. Season. Yeah, yeah. I think I think the race for fourth position is, is going to be massive as well. Aston Villa nearly got it. Everton are always up there, and now Man City, Arsenal, perhaps. Um, are struggling Amazing. really, yeah. Well, they so spent 95 million so far. You're yeah, right. And like is that, that going to get them results? Do you think? Well, there's two weeks left for the transfer window still, so <laughs> it might not be over <laughs> yet. Yeah, go shopping. Yeah, yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Could the, be over 100. The, the range just got started. Um, <laughs> I'm always, I was, the, I was the last one to be picked for the team, so maybe they'll right? give me a call. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. They want out of players to sign. 12 million pounds. <laughs> 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 but will that get them results? I mean, does that put them in in the front running? Well, it doesn't guarantee results. We, we've seen it before. I mean, I mean. In some cases, it can bring you it can bring you success. I mean, Chelsea did it when mm. Abramovich first took over, but then having said that, they were reasonably successful anyway. It's happening at Real Madrid as well. That's right. Um, it doesn't guarantee you success, but, you know, it's, it's a pretty good place to start. I mean, there's also a lot more uh, bigger players to manage. I mean, can Mark Hughes do that, the Man City manager? Sure. You know? Well, when football fans aren't watching Sky Sports or watching Soccer AM, they're mm. on the net, aren't they, talking about listen it? We've got some us. blogs. Or oh, listening to your podcast, <laughs> of course. <laughs> um, let's let's get, some of these, get through some of these blogs. And web predictions, and there's lots of yeah. websites giving predictions. Mm -hmm. Man United, Chelsea and Liverpool is the possible winners. Do you agree with those? Chelsea for I me. think Manchester United. I don't think Liverpool. Right, OK. Mm -hmm. Moving on, there's another one. Um, Goal.com says Man United will win. Man City will be fifth. Could be. I mean, yeah, I think it's a shout. That's, that's bad news shout. for the 95 million they've spent, isn't it? Well, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, absolutely, yeah. Um, and it's just, the other thing, obviously, people like to talk about is who's going to get sacked first. Um, another blog is speculating it'll be Hull manager Phil Brown. What do you guys think about well, that? Well, I thought, I thought Phil Brown, actually, because, I mean, Hull, they started so well last season. And then they were just awful, quite frankly, you know, towards the end of the season. They were lucky to stay up, perhaps. Is it worth a bet? I think Man City's uh, yeah. Mark Hughes will, will, could be different. If it doesn't all go so. well for them early doors, I think Mark Hughes's head will be on the block, on the chopping block, definitely. Mm -hmm. Phil Brown possibly, but he's done. He's done a great job for them. Okay, and your podcast first one's coming out when? It's tomorrow. Tomorrow. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. you can tomorrow. download it. Plug the site. It's weekly. Uh, Thefootballramble.com, uh, the iTunes, Ramble. MySpace, Facebook, all that sort of stuff. Excellent. All Thank you it. very much for joining us. You're in, welcome. Enjoy the season. Thank Thanks you very much. much. Okay, next the uh, weather. Here it is.